Alright guys, today I'm going to do a review of the brand new set for you, the Looters uh, set that just came out right now, the uh, so-called time travel or time uh, control set. So basically, uh, for the next 10 days, or today it's going to be 9 days, you're going to have a chance to loot the brand new set from uh, the event um, box with the event trials. Basically, this set um, changes up Shockwave. You're familiar with, so I'm, I'm equipping the skill right now to show you. Um, Shockwave, it basically pushes all enemies back and deals about 250% damage at max level. And then when you're using the looter set, the effects are random access mayhem. So when you're hit, there's a chance that Shockwaves will proc. And the other effect for the five piece is that plan maintenance, it will create a temporal uh, zone where all your enemies are slowed down um, within that zone. They're slowed down movement and attack. I think the uh, the Jester pet probably fits with this, uh, is meant for this set. Uh, if you put them together, you can see um, they look like they match. And then for the skills I'm running, I'm running the um, Dazzling Blast to stun them. And I'm also running the Lethal Blast to increase the damage of the Shockwave. All right, let's get into a level right now to uh, demonstrate the effect. All right, 4-1 is uh, the level that you want to go into to get the um, most or get 55 skeleton kills. And it's one of the quests for uh, the event right now to get as many skeleton kills as you can get. As you can see right there, uh, it's actually a really large uh, area effect. Uh, as you can see, it covers the entire, um, almost the entire screen. Much larger than the Valkyrie uh, Poison Puddle from, um, I would say, about 50% larger if you were uh, seeing my previous video. Alright, so let's see how this works. Alright, so it pushes them away and then my um, Dazzling one, the Dazzling Blast stunned them and uh, they were slowed briefly. It seems like there's a cooldown on the temporal temporary or i would just say temporal zone it's more effect uh, than temporary zone but a temporal zone it looks like the time zone is um the the cooldown is about 4.5 seconds so during this cooldown um additional procs would just be um shockwaves and not the, the zone Bear in mind that I'm running the, uh, I haven't upgraded the set, and I'm, uh, as you saw earlier, uh, I'm under leveled for this level. My might is about half of the amount required for this level. But I'm doing pretty well. I think the um, slowdown, the shockwave and the stun is very beneficial to controlling your, your opponents and your monster. Um, I'll do for you guys an arena run after this to see uh, how it does uh, in the arena. Oops, <laughs> I did not see that coming. Uh, all right, let's. I'll I'll spend the gems for this video just for you guys so we can continue on instead of me uh, having to restart it again. I'll pay more attention to these arrows that are coming from uh, the left angle here. The proc actually procs quite often, as you can see. Um, that it says a chance; it don't give you the exact percentage, but it looks like it procs pretty often. I think if you increase the level of that um, dazzling blast, in in order to increase the uh, stun duration, it would add a lot uh, for this build. Especially if um, you power up that hammer. Right. I haven't parked hammer and the runes I put in are like level two runes, so I'm doing, and like I said, I'm under level, so I'm doing like trash damage right now. And I'm still surviving. All right, it has a, it gives you a good amount of control. <clears throat> I know that uh, if you do the stun, it won't, but the stun, the 
even at max level, Dazzling Blast only lasts for 2 seconds. The Temporal Zone it seems to last about uh, the duration of the cooldown, which is about... Um, let's, let's see, let's go in here and count the number of uh, seconds of uh, how long the, um, the, last, the zone lasts, because I don't want to misinform you guys. 1, 2, 3, 4... Four seconds. So about four seconds is how long it would last. Um, the dazzling blast it only lasts for two seconds. So bear in mind that that after after the stun period, there still be slowed within the temporal zone. And um, with the new changes coming up next week, with the update to the hammer, um, on the last hit, the hammer will stun for 0.5 seconds. So. That will give you time to re-stun the monsters on the third hit um, once you get to them um, after killing off other monsters and you're getting to them. Which is important because moving forward you won't get that automatic critical hit uh, or um, critical hit. Yeah, you won't get the smash smash kill anymore on that last hit because automatic crit is gone except for axes of course. I think the um, the design of the set looks pretty cool. It reminds me kind of uh, uh, of the um, Batman Dark Knight armor when he's um, the Kryptonite armor that he uses against Superman. That's what it reminds me of. So the helm is Looter's Lens, uh, Jester. You got the Looter's Stomp, Looter's Core. Looter's Punch, and Looter's Squats. That's basically the, the setup I'm using. So let's jump into the arena now and see how well we do. Um, bear in mind, uh, in this setup, I only um, had runes on my hammer. So the D my DPS is pretty low. It's only at 126,000, I believe. And most of the bots' lives... Our HP is at 450,000. Okay. So the stun thing, I ended up increasing the stun up to uh, the Dazzling Blast to max level to show its full uh, benefits. So you can see here, uh, the bots are standing around for quite a bit after they get hit by uh, Dazzling Blast. Um, I'm not dealing out enough damage, but uh, this might be how it's going to look uh, moving forward because you're losing the automatic crit so your third hit won't always kill so they it's gonna be more look it's gonna look more like this moving forward where they're gonna take um a good chunk of damage on the third hit but it's not gonna kill automatically like it does uh right now so you can see the the proc happens quite often and um I think what I need to do is probably get my damage up a little bit more and it would be more effective. But I was able to still uh, win the match. 10 kills there. Pretty <laughs> pretty sad compared to my normal amount of kills. Um, but I think uh, for the sake of demonstration and comparison, uh, this is probably a good um, comparison to the changes moving forward as... Um, we don't want to. We want to see the misconception of how it is right now, where your critical damage or your crit hit on the last hit is an automatic kill. And even a regular critical hit is a one hit KO. Because your critical damage is so high. Moving forward, you won't be seeing those crazy numbers anymore. Like my max hit right now is 3,000% for critical damage. Moving forward, it's just going to be 200 base. Alright, so let's jump to one more. So right there, he's stunned. I get in three hits and he's dead. I think it's probably better to get them to all come in towards you and then uh, hit them all at the same time. Ooh, that's bad. Well, at least they hit them at the end. I wish the Shockwave did more damage. Even at max level, um, it only does 250% damage. 
you would have to combine it with the uh, Dazzling Blast, which can give you an additional um, 350 increase in the damage of the when they get blast away. So that would give you a total of um, 600, if I mass correct, 350 and one uh, 250, 600. So that would be a total of 600% damage every time that shockwave goes off. Overall, I think the, the set can be really good for Arena and, um, what is it, um, Castle. And it's definitely going to be good for a Meteor, as um, Stun is very important in that mode. But as for the um, boss mode, uh, I wouldn't recommend this against the guild boss, because the guild boss can't get stunned. And moving forward, hammers uh, don't have the automatic crit on the last hit, so you'll be dealing uh, significantly less damage if you're using the hammer against the guild boss. So the set, uh, outside of looking really cool, uh, will be good in the other areas of the game versus um, guild boss mode. Alright, that's pretty much it for you guys.